once again in this chapter this probably the fifth and the last chapter for the third i will uh, uh, will explain some problem and uh, in this uh, the earlier four is uh, all of of theory probably mostly theories uh, not much on the examples but in this uh, chapter i will explain some of the uh, related problems some of the uh, uh, problems that usually uh, comes uh, at uh, your exams uh, so that i will ex explain so first of that kind is rationalization of rationalization of any number okay rationalization of any number so this term uh, says itself uh, the answer uh, that means converting some number that means converting some some third to nearest rational rational nearest rational number so this is the aim of for this uh, kind of problem so wherever you have been said that you have to convert the some uh, third to rational num rational number that means you do the rationalization of some number so their intention is to bring that number to the nearest rational number say for example if i take the simplest one is root 2 the nearest rational number for root 2 is 2 so that means i have to multiply something to this uh, to to itself to bring it to 2 so it could be root 2 into root 2 itself which will give you 2 okay but why i am saying uh, again and again to bring it the nearest because if i take the root 2 the rational uh, just to uh, for the sake of understanding if i say uh, the any other rational number could be possible to multiply with this uh, apart from 2 could be another one would be 4 and saying so uh, this is also for a rational number that could be achieved by multiplying root 2 with something and it also correct if i say that i have did rationalization of root 2 that means root 2 if it is multiplied with 2 cube root, root of 2 2 cube there that also rationalization of this and any other number further means uh, any other number which will be a uh, which will be a uh, means number that multiplied with root 2 gives you rational number can be possible means i am to say not that only the root 2 is uh, that is the number which is multiplied with root 2 gives a rational number apart from the any other number which is multiple of 2 can be achieved by multiplying some other number with root 2 so what would be the correct answer all these answers are correct but to ease the problem we have to think of the nearest rational number for which i can aim to find the uh, the number is uh, required to rationalize the given third so say for example if i take root 3 plus root 2 okay so the nearest rational number for this if i multiply it with a conjugate number it is very too easy to find because wherever there is a number only differentiate with a plus or minus that means if each other are conjugate their rationalization rationalization is very easy okay only thing is you have to find the conjugate number and you multiply together to get the rational number but there are something conceptually if i say rationalize this number then if i 
just proceed on the traditional way just to multiply with this conjugate number okay but i won't get any rational number thereafter also okay that doesn't give you the exact combination by which that has to be multiplied to get rational number rather if i can think of the next rational number near to this let's say i am just thinking of one could be the rational number if i multiply this with something uh, to get the nearest rational number one i can multiply it with the x x is an unknown so this together will give you one so x is nothing but the number itself in the denominator okay so the exact meaning of rational uh, rationalization is the number which gives the nearest rational number uh, for this sort given okay now let's say some number let's say p is given as this plus this plus this now this is up to an end infinity okay now we have been told to rationalize this one so for this case i will square it up i will take 2 out and the remaining will be 2 plus root 2 plus dot 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 infinity so that means i can say is taking out 2 only squaring up 2 only from the terms which is extended up to infinity will not differentiate if i take out only the one term so because the remaining also infinity there is no unending number so that also can be said as the p so from this concept this will be p square minus p minus 2 if i take it on the other on one side this is the equation i will follow now if i say from here what could be the possible uh, values of 2 that can be differentiated in p this way i can factorize it and i will get this values together so from this two if both multiplication of two factor is zero so individually they could be zero or either of this is equal to zero but if i take this p plus 1 is equal to zero so p gives minus 1 that is not possible for this expression that could never be possible for this expression so it is not a real solution for this equation rather p could be equal to 2 okay now if you you are said to uh, get the rationalization of uh, to do the rationalization so the p value the nearest could be 2 okay so to rationalize that one this uh, because p is equal to 2 it will be nearest to if i leave it all together because that will not take part because if i leave 2 only because this value is nearer to 2 so that means if i say that p square is giving you 2 and p also giving you 2 that means squaring up will eliminate because root 2 is equal to 1.414 so in other terms all together will give you 2 so that means if i multiply p into p that means p with the same number i can rationalize because p square is gives gives you 2 p is also gives you the nearest value is 2 okay and p square is gives you also nearest to 2 so that means if i multiply p into p i can eliminate this first back root and that will give you 2 so the rationalization factor for p here is to be p itself okay so i have to multiply this again with p to to get it rationalized rationalized because other term will not contribute if i Uh, take p is equal to nearer to 
this will add contribute only the part which will make this nearer to two that the same thing p square will do because p square is nothing but two plus something which which will be which will be the same part which will make uh, p nearer to to two if i multiplied with p itself so p into p will give the same result where if i take uh, if i try to find the p itself by uh, calculating all this will be the same two eliminating so p into p will give you uh, the result to the nearest rationalization number so in this case p will be the uh, the number that has to be multiplied with the given p to give you the rational number so uh, p is the uh, rationalization factor for this case okay now i will do some square root i will show some square root or cube root so to find square root or cube root there could be two method square root of any third or uh, square root of uh, a single third means is a if it is a simple third so finding square root is not a problem because if i say find square root of 2 then their decimal method i can find it okay but my intention to show you the uh, example for mixed third it will be very useful to know how to do the mixed third uh, square root so let me take one example uh, 5 plus 2 root 3 if i say uh, then uh, or uh, yes 5 plus not root 3 i will take root 6 so what could be the possible so there is one method where i have to think of converting into form of a plus b whole square if it is now i have to find the square root of this so if i can uh, express it in form of a plus b whole square then if i remove square root then i will get a plus b so you have to convert it in the form of a plus b whole square so that whenever i take uh, the square root of that it would be uh, it would be something like that square root of a plus b whole square square root so this will give you a plus b if i take out the square root of that that means root 5 of 2 plus 6 will be a plus b now this could be done uh, with, the, with the help of the experience then how will i do that you have to attack the two root six that means this will be the form where i will get two av part if i once able to divide it into this two part then there it will be very easy to write the remaining term which will match the uh, your rational number so square uh, square root root three whole square plus root two whole square will give you the result 5 so this will give you root 3 plus root 2 whole square okay so this this could be a, a, I, you can see that i can able to uh, convert it into the form of a plus b whole square so now it is very easy because square root of 5 plus 2 root 6 will give you result root 3 plus root 2 okay this is one method another method where I, I need not to exercise so much uh, mentally rather if I assume that this is uh, can be converted in the form of root a plus root b because obviously when you convert this kind of mixer it will give you result something com uh, form of compound sud okay if it is at all uh, uh, possible to do it a square root of that sud itself so if I assume that and later if I square both the terms it will give you something like this okay you can understand root a square plus root b square will give you a plus b and 2ab it will be the form of this formula now as these two terms are equal so it has to be like that that rational number should be equal to rational number of the left hand side and right hand side and the other part also the same it give you 
2 root 6 to uh, make the equation uh, correct okay now as i can get a plus b whole uh, a plus b is equal to root 5 from here i can easily calculate a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b whole square is equal to nothing but a plus b whole square minus 4 a b okay now i will go with uh, um, a, a plus b whole square is equal to 5 square is 25 minus 4 into a 4 a b that means you are squaring up this one so you will get 2 root 6 whole square that means 24 that is equal to 1 so a minus b is equal to 1 okay so from there you can find a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 so as i am assuming that it is root root a root a plus root b so if i put the value i will get straight away the thing that i was uh, already find in earlier example okay so this is the another process where you need not to uh, use much of your mind rather you will fo follow some uh, procedure so i think uh, this will clear uh, your concept on doing uh, square root of any mixed set okay so if i get opportunity i definitely will show you how to do the uh, cube root of any uh, set uh, taking some example but uh, you can uh, follow this uh, problem these are general problems so you just do practice at home so that the uh, more mastery you will get on uh, on this kind of problem uh, apart from uh, the procedure as one for ease of the calculation so thank you for now i hope you are following my videos kindly subscribe and uh, give me some feedback if any any subjects you need to be discussed you just comment on your comment section so that i can come with uh, uh, the related videos in my later videos okay uh, or otherwise i will uh, follow the way i'm uh, finding the subjects which would be uh, which are needed to be discussed for any uh, kind of uh, uh, standards uh, i will do uh, according to my experience and my uh, knowledge so thank you for now good night and stay well uh, stay studying okay